welcome back you guys we are now in the second part of this video and we are starting it off with another intro in my car so tonight i have a country christmas party going on i do have to find an outfit for that because i have the boots and a cute denim vest but we are going to be sitting outside so it's going to be pretty chilly for that and if you didn't know this already i like to wait to do things until the very last minute so yeah that's what we're doing today i also have to find a secret santa gift and I'm pretty sure that any store that I go to is just gonna be super packed. So I'm not looking forward to doing that, but I mean, I do this to myself, so. But yeah, I just came back from this boutique event that my church was having. I recorded a little bit of it of like the items that they were selling and stuff. My sister participated in it. She crocheted all these really cute items and I just wanted to go support her and all the other girls there. So that's what I went to do. So I'm gonna start driving and see if I find a place that will help me find what I need. So let's go. The only thing is like, what am I going to wear underneath this? Also, I don't think I told you guys, but I am running off three hours of sleep and I am crashing so bad right now. But I'm on my way to Target and see if I find a gift. It has to be like $15, so I'm sure it'll be easy. But I do want it to be something that someone would want and something that I would want. So I'm going to try for it to still be good, even though it's very last minute. So you can do either boy or girl or for both, but I'm thinking this is going to be more for a girl just because I feel like it's kind of hard to shop for a guy without spending so much money. So I'm getting this blanket with this green water bottle and then this candle. So I feel like I kind of want to share some stories and facts about myself while I rush to do my makeup. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm not a very good multitasker, so I might pause in some moments to speak or pause speaking while I'm doing my makeup because it's just not going to work doing both at the same time. Especially because I am actually in a hurry. This might delay me a little bit more too. Anyways, so let's start with my name. My name is Lauren. I'm sure you guys know this literally in my username i am 19 and i am the youngest of my four sisters so i am the baby i recently moved and we now have a bigger yard so i got more animals and i actually have a total of eight animals in my yard i love every single one of them i have a pony his name is bodacious we call him bo for short i also have a quarter horse his name is dooley I have two red retriever puppies and their names are Duke and Skye and I actually will be getting another one in February and her name is going to be Willow. I have two chickens, their names are Spicy and Crunchy and I have a cat and his name is Odie. I have always loved animals my whole life, literally. I wanted to be a vet for the longest time, but then I realized that I'm just not good with blood. I thought it used to only be human blood, but I guess it's for every type of blood. I used to think there was a difference, but there's really not. I think it's actually a little bit grosser in the animals. Now, my goal is to breed dogs, specifically golden retrievers. So that is why I'm gonna be having three puppies at once. I would have never done that before. Also, I just wanna say, if you are a professional makeup artist, stop watching this video. I do not do makeup like others do. I literally, I don't even know what I do. I just start doing things along the way. I just don't know how to do makeup and I don't think I ever will. Whenever we have big events, I usually have my sister do my makeup because she does it really good. She's done it for people's weddings. I wish I could do that, but I just can't. I kind of want to share this story that was just in the back of my mind because it made me laugh a lot and I just remembered it. One time, well actually when I was younger, I craved so much attention. I probably still do to be honest, but I did a lot more back then and I remember I wanted to have a broken bone for some reason. I just thought it was so cool. So one day in elementary school, I think it was like third grade, one morning I decided to put like five layers of socks on and pretend that I broke my ankle. And my sister actually broke her bones before, so she had a pair of crutches. So I was like, oh, perfect. Like, I'm just gonna take these to school. So I do. My mom takes me to school. I have no idea why that girl did not stop me from doing that because that is so embarrassing, especially knowing that it's not really true. Why would you let me go to school like that? But I just remember it was like pouring rain that day. I got to school, everything was fine. My performance was great until one teacher told me to get in the elevator. So I get in, there's this guy there helping me 
and as we were stepping out i was walking but apparently one of my crutches like landed wrong and it slipped which made me slip as well and i just remember like falling to the ground i was so embarrassed he asked me if i needed help and i said no and i got up on my foot i don't know what i was thinking and why he didn't question me walking on my foot but i mean he didn't and i ended up going through with it i just felt very embarrassed by that and then i get to class and the teacher had these guys sit next to me for whenever i needed help getting up and i think i had to go through with it for like two weeks to be honest because who breaks an ankle for like a few days i honestly should have just said i sprained it but no i wanted to be more dramatic and told them that i broke it yeah i was drama back then i like loved to lie my family tells me that all the time like i would literally lie about everything and make things up that i would actually start to believe it that's a little scary but i'm not like that anymore so i actually hate lying now and i feel so guilty whenever i do also i'm not filming this part in my bathroom because i still don't have a mirror in there it was supposed to deliver a long time ago but it's now arriving like on the 28th and i just been having to get ready in my room but it's just not the same because the lighting is so bad in here but we'll make it work Okay, now I'm just going to start sharing some random facts about myself. People call me Lo for my nickname. I am Mexican with a little bit of Japanese. My dad is full on Mexican and my mom is Mexican as well, but she does have some parts of Japanese in her because of my grandpa's dad. One of my biggest insecurities would probably be my skin. But when I do have clear skin, I would probably say my side profile. <laughs> and my nose sometimes i think i've gotten more used to my nose i'm kind of liking it better but really i just used to hate it last year like i said i am mexican but i do not speak spanish i understand every single bit of it and if you talk to me i will know exactly what you're saying but i just will not be able to respond back so it's like useless i am 5'2 i used to think that i was 5'3 and i would tell everybody that but yeah no i'm 5'2 I was one of the tallest students in middle school, but everyone started to pass me up in high school. I ended up staying this way. I am a very picky eater. I don't know what I eat to be honest because everything disgusts me unless it's like super plain. So if I get a cheeseburger, I will literally take off the tomatoes, the onions, and just have like the lettuce and the meat. So it's like, what do I like? I've always wanted a brother, an older brother, but I'm the youngest, so <laughs> that obviously can't happen anymore. But I love my sisters. We're all super close now. We do have a 10 year age difference. So my oldest one is 30. My second oldest is 29. And then I have another sister who is 20 and I am 19. So it's a really weird age gap, but we're able to talk. We don't feel the age difference when we communicate, which is a pretty cool thing. I actually didn't start getting close to my sisters until last year. I would never tell them anything about myself. I would always go to my friends. Honestly, I think it was actually COVID when we started getting closer just because we were obviously forced to stay in. And I would never do that before. I used to always love going out like every single weekend. Probably even every single day. Even if I were just going to a friend's house to do absolutely nothing. Like, I just didn't like being home. So, because I was never home, I never talked to them like that. I didn't want them knowing what I was doing, you know, the regular stuff. Like I said, once COVID hit, I felt myself grow a lot closer to them. Especially my parents. It was just a very nice thing to experience because I realized that I really wasn't even going in the right direction with my friends. And being able to jump back to my family and being able to come to them when i need them i prefer that over friends who will just lead you in the wrong direction you know so i guess it was a good thing that that happened okay i know that was a little short but i got to share a little bit more about myself and i will probably make another video specifically for this and getting to know me but that will be for another day but right now i am gonna start doing my hair i have to blow dry it and i think i want to curl it because i've been straining it a lot lately and i feel like it's just frying my hair even more so i'm gonna try to hurry doing that i have my outfit picked out for the most part in my head <laughs> so i don't know how it's gonna look on or like set out but i'll probably show you guys in a little bit i am wearing the same pants but we're just not gonna talk about that but this is what i'm wearing <laughs>
5.40 a.m. and we are on our way oh, yes. to my sister's like race. Throwing. We only slept for like three hours. So, pretty exhausted. I'm probably gonna sleep all the way. now 7 a.m. and we just made it it's really really cold so I'm hoping that it warms up because we have to sit here for like two hours we probably shouldn't be the ones out of breath because we're not running <laughs> But we're walking back to our cars right now because we have to go meet them at the finish line and it is 13 miles. to go see some Christmas lights with our friends. It's a few days later. It's this place, uh, yeah, it's called Thoroughbred. You used to be able to walk through it, but this year they're only allowing us to do a drive-through, so we're gonna go do that. It should be really nice. We're running a little bit late, as always, so I'll just show you guys once we're there so that I'm safe driving. You're gonna get a ticket. No, because if they see her. No matter what, though. We have Jewel in the back, and we're kind of freaking out right now. <laughs> <laughs> 